Well, folks, this is it. I'm going to teach you how to get rich with this 2023 recession. And I know what some of you are saying right now. Oh, Mo, there's no good, there's not going to be a recession. There's not this, there's not that. But some of you, some of you who have been following the channel, following the leading economic indicators, you know what the path is. You know it's screaming, warning, warning, it's incoming. And now, today, finally, Elon Musk. He must be watching the channel. Elon, don't be afraid to comment down below. Just say hi to the fans. Now, in all seriousness, he came out and said many of the things I have been telling you and preaching to get people ready for what is incoming, and that is a recession. For those that did not see, I'll pull it up. Elon Musk makes a dire prediction about the economy. And folks, it's not good. Remember, this man owns so many different companies. He has his ear to the ground listening to everything that's happening. You put all the companies he has together and all the information that comes in about the global economy, I don't think there's another person out there that can give you a better representation of what's happening. So when Elon talks, don't just look at Elon like, oh, it's just one guy. He's just giving his opinion. He's telling you exactly how it is in real time. This isn't lagging. This isn't forward leading economic indicators. Elon's telling you how it is today. And I I gotta tell you, I still think he's he's out there. He talked to, to Lawrence Summers, Larry Summers, aka past Treasury Secretary, for those that don't know who Larry is. And Larry put out a post on Twitter today, or I should say uh, April 29th. And it says, uh, if the Federal Reserve does what's necessary to contain inflation, which I said they're going to, they're going to, I think a slowdown, <laughs> slowdown, is likely to come. He means recession. Let's be honest. They don't like throwing out the recession word. The odds of that happening sometime in the next 12 months, I think, are pretty good, perhaps 70%. He wouldn't even say the word recession. It's almost like they're trained. Don't say recession. You're going to scare the market and the markets drop. If you tell them the truth, don't tell them the truth. Everybody might be, you know, make good decisions then. And, and so they continue to try to prop the markets up the best they can by avoiding the, the difficult conversations. But Elon, oh, Elon, he's not one to get away from the truth. And he says the Fed data has too much latency. Mild recession is already here. I agree. I said Q2. I told you this back in Q3 and Q4 of 2022 that Q2 would be your recession. We nailed it. I'm telling you, you're going to find out after history looks and it'll say the recession hit in Q2. It's not just like, it's not like the canary in the coal mine died. One of the staunchest miners, Credit Suisse, died too. And the cemetery is filling up fast. Uh, further rate hikes will trigger severe recession. Here it is. Further rate hikes will trigger severe recession. Mark my words. Mark my words. And what do we have coming up on May 3rd? Another rate hike. I can't agree more with Elon. I've said it so many times that they have overdone it with the rate hikes. They are in constrictive territory. They're trying to get break the back of inflation to the point that it happens overnight, which when you do that, which they can do, what you're going to do is crush the economy to a point that they have stimulus checks and you will see, mark my words, stimulus checks will be back and I believe they come back in 2024. You will see stimulus checks 2024, I believe because of the election, the recession and everything else. That's what I'm calling for. Between Tesla, Starlink and Twitter, I may have more real-time global economic data in one head than anyone ever. Think about all the information he gets between those companies. I'm with him on this. I think it's absolutely major. So that leads us to the next question. How can we become rich with the recession in 2023? If we know and we follow past historical data, and we look to see what exactly is going on, what should happen during a bear market with a recession in it. Now, we've had 12, I believe, since the 40s. And since we had 12 bear markets, and now we're in the 13th, 
with a recession in them, if we have a recession in this one, which in my mind, we're already in it, but officially it's not. So what has the last 12 bear markets done when they had a recession? In? Did they bottom before the recession or during the recession or post-recession? All 12 bottomed during the recession, not before, not a one bottomed before the recession. All right. And so people who are telling me we have bottomed now in October, I absolutely 100% disagree. Absolutely. And I've got to tell you, not once in the last 12 bear markets have we bottomed before the recession. So everybody telling me, no, it's a it's a bull market. Tell me why below in the comments. Why do you believe fundamentally, fundamentally, not just because technically this or technically that fundamentally you tell me are earnings increasing are they're not going to constrict moving forward credits expanding not constricting quantitative easing is happening not quantitative tightening what is your catalyst for this massive bull cycle to start i know what needs to happen we need to follow the tracks of the past and for those who have been with me over at the patreon you guys know this and if you guys would like to follow along with this, I have the link down in the description. New stocks added to portfolios. I've been loading up. You need to see what I've been researching and all this good stuff. You can come on over and join, folks. I have the link down below. Become a member today. I'm going to be loading up tomorrow on new stocks and selling some of the ones that are up from the latest rally. I believe we're going to go ahead and see the market collapse back down to 36, 3,500. If that is the case, and we follow history, we don't just, you know, oh, I'm gonna, my gut feeling. No, I'm following the data, leading economic indicators. You got a mind like Elon warning us, mark my words. He knows that everybody sees his post. He knows what he's saying. And he is trying to help out everyone. He is literally giving us the answers to the test before the test. The question is how many people will actually follow his advice and understand that recession is coming and that we need to prepare at, for it as investors? How many people will actually listen or are they gonna just put their head in the sand and listen to all the, the, the news people that want us to keep the markets propped up, keep spending, put yourself in debt, record debt and credit cards, uh, student loans are coming back. Don't worry about it. Record debt and credit cards. We'll, we still have some savings left from the stim stimulus checks from 2020, 2021, whenever they were. Oh, yeah, but that's going to be gone within 12 months. We know student loans come back this August. We know that they cut food stamps, which was a major hit to the economy because now they got to spend more money they were spending on goods and services on food. Things are getting ugly, folks. And unemployment will start to go crazy high. And I think that's going to be bad. Right now, you're seeing a lot of upper management getting hit. And I think it works its way down to the frontline workers sooner than later. So, folks, it's not going to be pretty. Now, what else are we seeing out there? Well, I got to tell you, you know how you get rich in the 2023 recession? You listen to what you're being told here in terms of the big companies speaking to us. The biggest online retailer in the U.S. is warning of cautious spending. This is Amazon. Amazon telling us that things are getting a little bit tight out there. It's going to get tighter. I just told you why. But then I wanted to bring this to your to your attention. People ask me, I'll just go with some of the best hedge funds, this and that. Keep in mind, between 2011 to 2020, we had one of the biggest bull cycles in history. Long, huge, massive money made. This is the average hedge fund return, 5.4%. 4.8% all the way down annually. And this is the S&P 500. I'm going to tell you something right now. You are better off on average investing in the S&P 500 and just letting it go than you are thinking because you're with a high cost hedge fund. You're in a high cost managed fund. You're in somebody else's fund. They might charge uh, a ton of money to be in it, like 0.77% management fee, which is ridiculous high. Or you could put yourself in something like VOO, 
0.03%. It matches up the S&P 500. It doesn't get too scared and sell everything during the bad days. It doesn't go and uh, go crazy buying on FOMO. It just is the S&P 500. It does what it does. And you can see the returns. I want you to take a look at this and understand how big of differences these are. Not one year did a hedge fund average better, better than the S&P 500. And did you know, to add to this, over the long term, 90% of hedge funds, I'm talking 10 to 20 years out, cannot beat the S&P 500. They have too high a management fees. And after you, you, know, you see them driving around in their brand new cars, flying on their jets, how do you think they pay for that? They use it with your money. They charge you too much. And then they can't even beat the S&P 500. You can do a, an, an easy ETF for bonds, an easy ETF for the S&P 500. Set it and let it go. And you will outperform in over 90% of hedge funds in the long run. Keep that in mind. I'm talking Harvard, Yale, Princeton. All right? You're better off just doing that. And that's the truth. That's the absolute truth. They charge so much in fees it destroys their returns. Now, if they didn't charge any fees at all, some of them would be doing well, but they charge those fees. Look at the different ETFs out there. If they're charging 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, anything above 0.1, you're paying a ton of money for those returns. And then I challenge you to go out 20 years and compare it to the S&P 500. Did they out beat the S&P 500? 90% will say no, they couldn't beat it. And so if that's the case, I'm not rolling the dice for one year. The best way to get rich with this recession is probably looking at the S&P 500. Or if you really wanna have some fun, you know there's leverage products, which I've been doing. If we know the S&P 500, if we have a major sell-off in a recession and we hit new lows, the new bull cycle, could end up making bank. And that's one of the things I wanted to show you. Now, keep in mind a few things before we get to it. How to get rich with a recession. I'll tell you this. Uh, right here, you can see, and we got, and I'll say, in my mind, VAO, one of the best stocks to buy now. And that's where you can dollar cross average through, which I've been showing you. I'll have to bring that up again in one of the next videos. Uh, but what is the average rate of return? Last 20 years, 8.19. And that's from 2002 to 2022. And then the average rate of return from since 2012, 12.84, you can see. And then since it's had 1957, they went to 500 stocks, 11.88% average return. You could just put your money in the S&P 500, continue to do that. And you should be able to crush long-term against hedge funds, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, all these big time Wall Street. I went to the best universities in the world and I graduated first. And at the end of the day, you're gonna end up beating them just getting into the SP 500. So just keep that in mind, folks. Now, what I wanna show you, let's go back and take a look at some things. We had the 2008 crash right here, right? And when it crashed, if you were able to get down there and buy in, I want you to see this 500% gain, right? But what happens if you would have bought something like XP, X, uh, we got a XL, I believe it is. Yep, there's the bull. And we go out and we see how long it goes back to 2008. We know the S&P 500 went up 500%. How much did this go up? Did it go up 1500% or close? 8,684. I thought it goes up three times, Mo. Well, it's supposed to, but this thing went up 8,600% over that 12 year period. Now, if we just go out to 2020 before the crash, you can see it's up 5,800%. My point is, can you use leverage products if you're looking for more risk? You can, but remember, I'll show you this. There's a cost to it. And when it drops, look at this. This was down 75% of your money gone in a matter of days. So when you when it's running, it's running. When, when it's dropping, it is dropping. But check this out. From those days on, if you bought in, look how crazy this is. 600 and something percent in a year. Wow. All right, folks. 
That was what I was talking about in terms of how to get rich. Are you looking for the slow and steady? Get rich slow with Mo? Or are you trying to roll the dice, take some chances? I, I'm trying to take some chances now, just so you know. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to follow along. Come over to the Patreon. You'll see what I'm talking about. And of course, uh, it, for those who wanted to take advantage and get some free stocks, I do have that down there as well. We're putting these at the end here for a little bit, the ads, and you can see the Moo Moo, 15 free stocks. All you got to do is put 100 bucks in, you get five free stocks. Put 1,000 in, you get 15. Each stock can be worth up to $2,000 a piece. So get those. And then, of course, they have the free charting, which I love. Take a look at where we're at right now with the overall looking at this chart. You can see where we're at. And we are getting close to that. 97.5 percentile means we are very close to overbought territory. Everything seems to, you know, you're seeing it roll up, but I think we're hitting that top where it's going to pull back now. And that's my opinion on this. All right. And when we were sold off here, I said we got oversold here. It bounced back up, oversold here, bounced back up. But like I got to tell you, here's where I thought we were overbought and we did drop down. Now we had to push up. Now I think we're ready for that next leg down. And I think we're there. And so if you like this chart and you want the free stocks, hit the moo down below. And I do have the Weeble as well. You can get up to 5.8% on the, the cash. But check this out. 12 free stocks, any deposit. Using a dollar or more, using my link below in the description. You've got to use the link. And you can get up to 30,600 in free stocks. Take advantage of both of them and then join me over at the Patreon. Folks, let me know what you think down below. Are, is, are, we, gonna, are we in a recession? Are we going to hit a severe recession? Is Elon right? Is he wrong? talk about it down below, then join me over at the Patreon. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.